Why do we have to see this shit? Why, why, why is this a thing? The best player in the league is back, De Bruyne. This season? Hell no. He's had two appearances, one goal, one assist. The player this season that's been on fire is Mohamed Salah. Liverpool FC's number 11. 14 goals, 8 assists, 22, excuse me, GA. This season. Only this season. Best player in the league this season. On those two numbers alone. Now we can say well, what constitutes the best player tag. Is it goals and assists? Is it goals? Is it assists? Is it shots taken? Is it chances created? Is it shots blocked? Is it shots saved? We don't look at that. We look at the attackers, not the defenders. The defenders get a bit of a bum rap, if you ask me, because there are so many defenders out there that do a good job to stop the opposition from scoring that they don't really get the plaudits that they maybe deserve for best player. But we always look at the attacking aspect, so we're going to look at the attacking aspect here. De Bruyne this season has had two appearances, second one coming off the bench for Newcastle, oh, for Newcastle against Newcastle just the other day, one goal, one assist, for Skibbity Bob in the 91st minute, getting the winner there. Good stuff. Well done. Salah been doing it all season though, and people still think he's under par. Haaland's got 14 goals or something to that effect. And maybe to his standards hasn't really been up to scratch, but that's neither here nor there. Some of the comments in this tweet from SDS... SDS pod. A lot of people, one person says, bend the knee to the king, that being De Bruyne. A lot of other people, oh, this United fan, sadly, a lot of people saying Salah. Salah didn't drop 22 goals and assists in 20 games, being top goal scorer, equal, top assister, and top of the league for you to hype the guy that has won City one game after a four month coma, LOL. It's pretty grim. Not exactly wrong, though. Best player still at AFCON, best player still at AFCON. The disrespect to this man, the disrespect to this guy. There you go. 14 goals, 8 assists. Some of the quote tweets have been interesting to say the least. Gets this after a goal and an assist, but Salah could do these 20 games in a row and still don't get the same respect. Fair. 22, GA in 20. It's almost a goal or assist a game with a little bit extra sprinkled on top. He gets this title after playing one game while Salah has been working his ass off. If I say the word, I'm thinking. Again, it's just one people or person or entity's opinion. Well, I agree with that. We don't know what we're talking about, but it's something to do with football. Well, I buy that. 100% I'll buy that. Salah been producing game-winning chances, goals like this all season. De Bruyne has been on his ass. Not his fault. He's been injured, though. Really, if we want to, if we want to really be a little bit fair, it's not. It's not Kevin's fault. Let Kevin talk. Let me. Let Kevin talk. Let him talk. When Salah doesn't, he's just a stat padding merchant. But De Bruyne does it. All of a sudden, it's. Oh, look at Kevin De Bruyne. Let's look at some numbers. My phone's buzzing. I should go to sleep. Let's look at some numbers. Ooh, blinding lights. All right, this ain't the weekend. Weekend's over. All right. 238 appearances for Salah in his current seasons at Liverpool FC. 241 appearances for De Bruyne at his current seasons at Manchester City. 151 goals for Mo. 65 goals for De Bruyne. 66 assists for Salah. 102 assists for De Bruyne. Now those are impressive numbers. Goals for Salah, assists for De Bruyne. That's just it. That's what they do. Salah is the goal scorer. De Bruyne is the assister. Salah gets his fair share of assists as well. If you want to break that down across six or so seasons, it's almost 10 assists a season. Not a bad return. De Bruyne's there or thereabouts as well. Say 12 assists for him, give or take. They do well. He gets himself... A fair chunk of goals as well across the seasons. A few goals here and there. Perfect. Eight goals a season. Contribute. No problems. Easy done. Easy done. The numbers themselves combined look something like this. Kevin De Bruyne, 167 goals assists. Eight seasons ongoing. 
Mo Salah, 217 goals and assists, six seasons ongoing. And I put Thierry Henry in here as well for reference because he's been said to be the best Premier League player in the history of the Premier League, 92 Premier League that is. A lot of people will say, hang on a second, you're forgetting one CR7 in all that. But I'm going to use Henri because his name pops up a lot. Maybe they're talking about winger in the Premier League, but I'm pretty sure I've heard them say best player in the Premier League. Yeah, best player in the Premier League has been Terry Henri. 249 goals and assists. That's across, I think it was eight seasons, some, somewhere thereabouts. Eight seasons. Salah is closer to Terry Henri's level than Kevin De Bruyne is. But if we look at those numbers alone, it'll say that Salah is the better player than Kevin De Bruyne. Not exactly accurate though, because as we've just seen, breaking down those goals and assists, Salah is the goal machine. De Bruyne is the assist machine. There's an argument to be had who has been the better player over the course of the last few seasons. This video here, I'll link it down below from timestamp needed. Hamza waffling that De Bruyne is this elite player. He is levels above everybody else. He's not a Mo Salah who capitulates against Arsenal and can't do it at the top in finals of the Champions League when he has done it in finals of the Champions League, scoring a pressure penalty. I don't care what Tottenham fans think of that. It was deemed a penalty. Is a penalty. We move on. Not being able to do it against Real Madrid is tough. Two finals against them. We lost 1-3-1. Second one, we lost 1-0. Played in the second one. Didn't get his goal. Courtois was on fire for that game. On another day, another 90 minutes, we could have blitzed around Madrid and taken everything in that final. And that was the potential quadruple season. But it didn't happen. Sucks. Anyways. The first final, 3-1 loss, he had to come off injured after the 15th or 20th minute from Sergio Ramos' armbar dragging him on the floor because he thought he was playing WWE. Imagine you've not played for four months football. You don't come back this good. You don't come back this good. It takes a month or six weeks or seven weeks. Bam, there you are. He's come back. We're losing. Drag us back, just like that. That's elite level. This is not Monsala. This is elite level. This is Zidane, Xavi, Iniesta. This is that level, the level of greatness. Your people say, oh, wow. This is the level of he is. Oh. You don't get players like that. They don't. Ham they, Hamza, Hamza, you, sorry. Hamza, Hamza, but, but Mo Salah is also. There. Let him finish Mo because. Salah, yeah. No, no, but Mo Salah. No. Have some shame. No. Okay. Have some shame about Muhammad Salah. You no. know that Muhammad Salah is playing. Is in a different level as well. You know that. Have some he's shame. Not, he's not. I've seen this guy. Have man. some shame. No, have some shame, man. Well, I have some shame. I've seen him capitulate against Real Madrid when he said it's going to be a revenge. The guy broke his shoulder. Sergio no, Robin no, broke his shoulder, time. bro. He's done it three times. He's played Real Madrid three. He said, well, hang on, De Bruyne's come off in two finals. Bro, De Bruyne yeah, got off in two finals, bro. Yeah, in two finals. Yeah, he did. Two finals. against us. He won against us. He so Hamza's whole thing is Real Madrid is elite. And because De Bruyne dismantled Real Madrid in the semifinals of the Champions League when they made the final, that means De Bruyne is levels above because he's done it against Real Madrid. But De Bruyne did nothing in the Champions League final, whereas Mo Salah has. Mo Salah has done something in the Champions League final. He's played, scored a goal, won it. De Bruyne came off injured in one from a really good close line. They lost that one. And he got subbed in that second final. Name escapes me who they played. So De Bruyne did nothing. So if you want to use that logic, De Bruyne ain't shit. Didn't do it in Champions League finals. De Bruyne ain't shit. You can use the logic, but I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'll link this down below. Watch it for yourselves. The disrespect. Hamza gives Mo Salah, bringing him up for no reason whatsoever because he's got a hard on for Man City and every Man City player is just the best there ever is. Bret Hart, every player is um, Bret Hart for Man City. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. They're all hitmen. Bringing up Salah for no reason. 
He's not elite. The numbers show you that he can do it. He has Champions League goals. He has Champions League assists. He has Champions League winner's medal. Scored in a final. De Bruyne subbed in finals. We can say De Bruyne couldn't hack it on the big stage. Mo Salah could. We can use that same argument. We can use the same logic. But that's not my point. Both these players are great. This season, Salah has been the standout. Over the last six seasons, with Salah and De Bruyne included together, if we want to look at just since Salah has been in the league, so let's have a look here. If this is going to update properly, which probably won't because this thing never works properly for some bizarre reason. There you go. 216 appearances from 17-18 season with Salah. 58 goals, 93 assists. Still good numbers. Great numbers. But looking at it in total, obviously more appearances for Salah, many more goals. Hat-tricks, single goals, braces, whatever. De Bruyne is the assist machine. Salah is the goal-scoring machine. It's not exactly far off either. If the big chances created by Salah were tapped in, Put away, we'd be looking at different numbers here. But we're not. Both good players, both great. But to say that the best player in the league is back, you can make up your own minds.